first part we're learning is like kind of like the first half of the first verse sounds like this and it'll go on from there so it's a series of chords not too hard um, so let me just show you those chords and start getting those in your hands and we'll, we'll talk about it as we go, all right? So you've got an E minor, so I'm playing E's in my left hand, an E, a G, and a B with my right hand. Okay, so that's sort of a tune. And you switch to an A minor. And the way I'm switching to A minor is I'm bringing my left hand from these E's up to A's, or one, if you can't reach both, E to A, and my right hand, the thumb stays where it is, and the two notes that were on that G and the B are going to slide up to an A and a C. Okay, so the first two chords, E minor, A minor, and then right back to that E minor. And that sort of feeling, that E minor to another chord back, to another chord back, that's the feel that you get throughout a large part of the song. So you've got E minor to, to A minor to E minor. You go to that A minor again, so same chord, except instead of going to the E minor, you're gonna go to a G. The way I'm playing G, you see my hand's already here like this. To play the G, you just slide everything down one white note. So you've got D, G, and B in your right hand, while your left hand is playing Gs. Back up to that A minor, so you can slide everything back in the other direction. And then back to that E minor. Back to the A minor. So there's a lot of bouncing, okay? You're gonna have to pay attention. I'll write the chords above and you're gonna have to sort of learn them. You see for the first half here, A minor is every other chord. So you start with the E minor and then every other chord after that is A minor. So E minor, here's your A minor. Back to the E minor, here's your A minor. Back down, down to the G. Back to that A minor, E minor. Back to that A minor, a whole lot of A minor going on. Okay, so that's the first half of the first verse. Now the second half of the second verse uh, is similar. You've got E minor, so the same chords. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time to show you these chords because I already showed you them, but you've got E minor to the A minor again, back to the E minor, just like in the first half of the first verse. And just like in the first half of the first verse, you also have another, the next, uh, looks like four notes, or five notes are all the same. A minor, G, A minor, E minor, A minor, so that's just like the first half, but then you go to a D. So this chord, you've got D, or one or two Ds in your left hand, D, F sharp, A, another D if you can reach it in your right hand. And then you slide down to a C, you're going to kind of hold this for a while you've got so that's a C in your left hand C E G another C if you can reach it in your right hand okay so let me show you that first verse because the second verse is sort of like uh, doesn't exactly repeat it but it's got some similar parts first verse E minor A minor E minor A minor slide down to the G back up to that A minor again lots of A minor going on E minor a minor, so you got this thing, it's just bouncing, mostly between A minor and E minor, or something that kind of sounds similar, here's the G, A minor, E minor, and then you go to this sort of like different part, walks, this thing that sort of walks down a little bit, you get a D into a C, and then you've got the second verse, which begins just like the first verse, the, the first half of the um, second verse is the same as the first half of the first verse. So you've got E minor, A minor, E minor, should sound pretty familiar at this point, and it's gonna sound even more familiar. A minor, G, A minor, E, A minor, D. So just like in the second half of the first verse, you're still gonna to go to this D and this C. The only difference is now you've got like this, sort of like a transition block, which goes, Amen, 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 amen. That part is, um, I'm going to slow down and show you too, it's sort of like, almost like it's attached to the end of, of a of modified verse. I'm going to do my best to put marks up above the keyboard, so hopefully it'll make some sense. Anyway, that amen part is, 
Amen. You're gonna play a G. Amen. When you're singing that climbing, sort of climbing into that Amen. So you've got a G in your left hand. Um, we we already gone went over this chord, but I'll show you again. D, G, B in your right hand. Amen. And so you're gonna switch between a C and a G. You've got that G, and you go C G with your first Amen. You can do it again for your second amen. C, G. And on the last amen, you're gonna do a C minor six into a G, like this. So it's just sort of a slightly different feel to that C. So it's a C minor. You got C in your left hand or two, a C, an E flat, a G, and an A. Amen, amen, and back into that G. And then after that, that's basically sort of like two verses through, or like verse parts, phrases, hard to, it, hard to explain exactly what it is because the way it mixes and matches. You're going to go diving into your chorus, which sounds like this. starts with this pretty sweet little scary-ish or like intense D uh, what's the word kind of like amped up riff uh, it's, stuff's about to get bad it's G to an F sharp G to an F sharp and then F sharp to an F like this and I play it with uh, in octaves you can if you want to get really like if you want to get really intense, you can play four octaves, you just double it up in each hand, but basically you want to play that sequence, that G, then F sharp, F sharp to F, and then you're into the first chord of the chorus, and you notice the first chord is built off of the, the half step lower than that, so you, you sort of are starting on this G, and you're kind of climbing down half steps until you get to this E minor, which is the first chord in the chorus. So here's the, the chorus part, starts with that riff, and then you go into an E minor, You've got E minor, and I kind of do like this bouncing thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E minor. You switch to a B7. That's a chord we haven't talked about yet. So the way I play it, B, F sharp, and B with my left hand. If you can reach all that, you can always drop out that pinky. You can even uh, you can drop out other stuff too if it's if it's kind of complicated. I sneak my thumb in under here. This is very weird for most piano players, so you don't have to do this. You can just do this if you prefer, but. I, I like to play it this way. Um, an A with my thumb, a D sharp, an F sharp. So then you move to a G. I already showed you that chord. I'll, I'll let you like study my hands a little bit. You go to an A minor seven. So um, I move my left hand up to an A. And my thumb sneaks under and plays a G. C, E, another G if you can reach it. Good God, won't you take me to church? That part is, I don't know if I'm getting the lyrics exactly right, apologies if I'm not. Um, but you kind of go back to that E minor. E, G, B, E in the bass. And you'll often play through that whole section twice. So out of that E minor, you do the riff again. E minor, I'll show you. finish the chorus you're sort of going to come out of it with that riff G, F sharp F sharp F and then you're into the next verse so the next verse um, starts on that E minor chord just like the uh, chorus which is why coming out of that riff kind of makes sense it's intuitive because you know where you're going next all right I'm a pig, you know, the good time. so similar to uh, some of the past pieces that we've learned this is sort of a, a combination. This verse, again, it's not exactly like the stuff you've learned, but it's, it's sort of a, a mashup, I guess, if you will, of uh, some of the stuff that we've played already. So you've got E minor. I'm just going to show you the sequence. A minor, E minor, A minor, G, A minor, E, A minor, D. So we're going into this D7 
C sort of like walk down thing a little bit earlier. So you go to, from the D to the C. And then you go back in. It's not like, you know, normally when you go from that DC, you're going into another part. But in this verse, you do that DC, and then you sort of are still in the verse. You go back to an E minor, and you do more of this E minor bouncing stuff. E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, G, A minor, E, A minor, D. Okay, so now we're going to actually, we're in this C, D walk, and I think now it's sort of going to be turning into something else. You go into that C, you went from the D to the C, and then you've kind of got this B sus4. And you can uh, you can make it a B7 sus4 if you want. And you don't even have to play this chord if you don't want. It's in the song. It's just a way of introducing, it's sort of like adding some tension before. Take me to church. Sort of introducing the part that's coming up next, all right? And the part that comes next is the chorus with that walk down part. And I already showed you that chorus, but I'll show you, I'm going to play through that, that second verse once and show you how the chorus comes into it. So I'll talk you through it as I go. E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, G. like a little bit hurried back into the E minor. E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, G, A minor, E, A minor, D, C, and then this. Okay, and you're gonna get to the end of that chorus part eventually. <laughs> you're gonna play that root, root, and then you're gonna go into the bridge section. The bridge section is C, C chord, just like I showed you before. C's in your left hand, C, E, G, C in your right hand. Into a G. Let me show you what it sounds like first. Just get through that much, all right? So you've got C, this is the beginning of the bridge section, C into a G. And so you're going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that sort of that four chord pattern there that you're playing the two chords per measure, you're gonna loop that four times. So you've got C for the first chord into a G. I'm playing a B7. So I'm playing. I'll show you this one more time. B, F sharp, B in my left hand. You can reach all that. A, D sharp, F sharp. Another B if you can reach it. Into an E minor. Okay? E, E, G, and A. That four chord loop, you just loop it four times. C, two, three, four, one, two. That would be the first time through, then you repeat it three more times. Anyway, you repeat it three more times, and then so I'll play the, the fourth one as if I'm playing through the fourth loop and then how it comes out. All right, so you've got, you know, pretend this is the last loop. C, G, A, F7, E minor. And then you're going to play, and you're, you're sort of like bouncing like this, and you're going to play an E minor over a D, E minor over a C. So basically your left hand is just walking it down here. And then you're going to move this pinky up one note here and turn that E minor into a C chord. Okay, and you're sort of bouncing on that. And then you're going to go into the sort of the end of the bridge section, which is A, 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 A,
this is the amen section and it's a little bit different from the other amen section go figure he had to make everything complicated so you've got amen is this g amen amen is a c to a g just like last time only this time we're going to that c minor six a little bit early amen that c minor six one more time is a c an e flat a g and an a Amen. 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 And you end by going to that C minor six again and then to the G. So that end sequence, I'll show you one more time. G, C, G, C minor six, G, C minor six, G. Okay, and coming out of the bridge, you guessed it, the chorus section with that cool riff. And you play through the chorus. You play through the chorus twice, you know, the chorus loop a couple times. And then you're gonna come out. Uh, and the way you end the whole song actually is coming right out of this chorus. So you still play that riff to come out of the chorus like you did before. And you just end the song by playing an E minor chord. And you can just hold it out for as long as you want. Squeeze out the, uh, the emotion. <laughs> so I know that's a ton of stuff, a lot of moving parts. I'm gonna do my best to um, uh, note it all above the keyboard for you so that it's at least there for you. It's a big song, it is gonna take some work, so uh, stick to it. I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.